In December 2019, the novel coronavirus disease emerged in China in a city named Wuhan. Chinese authorities notified the world about the situation there. Despite all the measures taken by global organizations, it spread through the world in the following few months, and the WHO declared a public health emergency of international concern. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. For the last few months, we have been hearing about a protein called angiotensin converting enzyme 2 or ACE2 as a therapeutic target in the treatment of COVID-19. In this presentation, I will discuss briefly how ACE2 is related to COVID-19 infection and how is it targeted in the clinical therapy. We have known coronaviruses for a long time before this pandemic. They are a group of viruses covered in a little protein spikes that looks like a crown. There are hundreds of known coronaviruses, but only some of them infect human and cause diseases. SARS-CoV causes SARS. MERS-CoV causes MERS. And SARS-CoV-2 causes COVID-19 that is currently threatening millions of lives globally. It is considered the seventh known coronavirus to infect humans. Let's take a look at the structure of SARS-CoV-2 virus. From the inside, we have the ribonucleic acid genome that is covered by a protein capsid called nucleocapsid protein N. It encloses the genetic material of this virus. These are enclosed in a lipid bilayer membrane called viral envelope a fatty layer that upon contact with soap, it breaks down, killing the virus. And therefore, hand washing using soap is so important to prevent the spread of this virus. On the surface of this virus, there are three structural proteins, the S, the M, and the E. The S stands for the spike protein, which has the crown-like structure. It is the protein responsible for allowing the virus to attach to the membrane of the host cells via recognizing a specific receptor on the surface of it. The E stands for envelope protein and the M stands for membrane protein. What is ACE2 and how is it linked to SARS-CoV-2 infection? Angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 or ACE2, is a protein found on the surface of many cell types, including lungs, heart, kidneys, liver, blood vessels, and gastrointestinal tract. The SARS-CoV-2 virus binds using its spike-like protein to the ACE2 receptors found on the surface of these cells. The distribution of these cells would explain some of the presenting symptoms of COVID-19, like respiratory and GIT distress, renal failure, and blood disorders. ACE2 acts as the cellular doorway for this virus, enabling its entry to the host cell and subsequent hijacking its machinery to replicate itself and become able to infect more host cells and produce more damage. But what is the actual function of ACE2 protein in the body? In order to answer this question, we have to review the renin angiotensin aldosterone system a critical pathway in regulating processes like inflammation, wound healing, and most importantly, blood pressure. When blood pressure drops, this causes kidneys to secrete a chemical called renin into the bloodstream. Renin binds to a protein hormone produced in the liver called angiotensinogen, converting it to the inactive angiotensin 1. A second enzyme produced in the lungs called angiotensin-converting enzyme, or ACE, converts angiotensin-1 to angiotensin-2, the active molecule that binds to its receptors located on blood vessels and adrenal gland, causing vasoconstriction and aldosterone release that result in sodium water retention. The combination of vasoconstriction and salt water retention raises the systemic blood pressure. But angiotensin II also increases inflammation and damage to the blood vessel linings, 
and causes various types of tissue injury. Angiotensin converting enzyme 2 is responsible for metabolizing angiotensin 2 and converting it to other molecules that counteract its harmful effects. For example, angiotensin 1,7, which is a powerful antioxidant and a vasodilator. Now back to the SARS-CoV-2 receptors. When the virus binds to the ACE2, it prevents ACE2 from performing its normal function and regulating angiotensin 2 levels in the blood. Thus, ACE2 action is inhibited, removing the breaks from angiotensin 2 signaling and making more angiotensin 2 available to injured tissues. This decreased breaking would likely contribute to the injury, especially to lungs and heart in the COVID-19 patients. When the amount of ACE2 is reduced because the virus is occupying the receptor, individuals may be more susceptible to severe illness from COVID-19. That is because enough ACE2 is available to facilitate viral entry, but the decrease in available ACE2 contributes to more angiotensin II mediated injury. In particular, reducing ACE2 levels will increase susceptibility to inflammation, local thrombosis, cell death, and organ failure, especially in the heart and the lungs. Due to its crucial role, ACE2 has drawn considerable attention as possible target in the treatment of COVID-19. A suggested biologic drug has been developed recently, offers hope for combating the novel coronavirus pandemic. Human recombinant soluble ACE2 does not have the membrane attachment segment, so it does not bind to human cells. However, it's capable of tricking the virus as a decoy receptor and prevents viral binding to the natural ACE2 and thus blocks the viral entry to the host cells. Studies and experiments are underway to confirm or revise its effectiveness and safety on large scale.